Hello all, um, welcome back to my channel, Carp Craft UK. Um, yeah, it's 15th of February and we are back on the bank. Been clucking to get out this week, to be fair. Um, still not working. Um, yeah, there's, uh, the wound's healing, but it's not quite there. Hopefully another week. Another, I've got to have next week off as well, but hopefully after that we'll be starting to get ourselves back into work. Um, yeah, it's becoming rather frustrating, especially when the appointments don't work with your fishing. Um, but yeah, luckily my mate's fishing with me on this session, and um, yeah, we're managing to get a couple of nights on the bank. Um, you know, last week's trip was good. Um, yeah, managing that for that 30, um, that was the right result. Uh, so, you know, we're here, um, not, not done a lot yet. Um, done a little bit of mark. Put the marker float out, done a little bit of uh, come in the depth out there and that. See a couple of fish show straight away. Um, and yeah, they, they, they seem to be showing at about 24 wraps. I'm not going to go right into them. Um, I clipped at about 22. Found a nice bit of ground out there, but I've decided to come back even further um, in line with uh, the spot that I found last week um, at 19. I'm going to keep that up. I'm going to keep another rod at 19. I'm not going to fish two spots, two on one spot and um yeah one on the other um yeah so fingers crossed that'll uh work but yeah i'll show you the chaos and carnage in a minute it's uh yeah it's not quite um we're not quite set up it's it's everywhere like usual but uh yeah that's the way it is so yeah fingers crossed though we're getting amongst them during this trip with a bit of luck Yes. Right, let's get the gear sorted out, get the rigs out. I've got a couple of rigs ready to go out. Um, yeah, let's do it. There we go, guys. The usual chaos and carnage. Yeah. All over the show, as usual. The amount of rain we've had. The uh, swims are still underwater. Yeah. So, hence the boots are on. Yeah, new spod rod. Um... Yeah, I've always, I wanted to try one of these out, the old Dower Super Spod. Um, they look the part. Um, yeah, I, I broke my Grays one last time I was here. Uh, the, the blank's spinning in the real seat now, but I've got to it 12 years. What can you expect? But yeah, like I say, all the three rods are there, all ready to go out. Just got to put some new rigs on. Still got the rigs on from the last trip. Yeah, then we're going to do some spawning. Yeah, put some bait out and uh, sit back and have a little bit of a chill and hopefully catch a carp or two. It's looking really, really nice. It's, going to be, it's 15 degrees today. It's going to be 11 degrees tonight. Like I say, out there, sort of right on the end of this rod tip, but out here, under that tree, is where I've seen them. Um, yeah, but I'm not, so I'm not going to go right into them. I'm going to fish at 19, fish back from them, hopefully they come on to me. Yeah, it's looking really, really nice. Right, let's put some rigs in the water. Catch up in a bit. Well, guys, the rods are out. Bait over the top. Yeah, well, that with them all at 19, like I said, um, I was doing. Yeah, quite a fair amount of bait out, actually, to be fair. Started off with 16 spawns over two rods and uh, 10 spawns over the rod on its own. Um, yeah. Two rods on the same spots where I had the 30 from last week. Um, and yeah, one one rod on a different area. Um, but yeah, good depth of water, seven foot. So, yeah. A lot of small fish showing much further out than where I'm fishing. So, uh, yeah, just hoping that... Um, just hoping that staying away from them, staying away from the pack fish, will hopefully bring me a, another better one. I mean, the action's always going to be a lot slower, you know, when you're not fishing on the on, on the big, the main shoal. But um, there's always chance of a better one. So, uh, you know, obviously the, the the main goal is still swimming out there somewhere. So, um, yeah, you can only but try. A lot of say I'm happy with them all. Unbelievably mild today. Absolutely ridiculous. 15 degrees today. Um, it's going to be 11 tonight. So. Yeah, crazy. Absolutely crazy. But yeah, 
it took me a while to get sorted out. You know, we got here at just after 10 o'clock this morning and uh, yeah, it's now up past three, but the bivvy's up and everything's sorted now, so. Yes. Just awaiting developments. First night, early as the morning, it's about, it's about three o'clock I think, but yeah, just had our first bite. A nice scaly one. Scaly one, 21. You do, you do for a start. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, literally was dragged out of bed by that one. It was absolutely flying. But uh, yeah, good times. Nice start. Considering I haven't seen anything anywhere near me, but I've been trying to keep away from the pack fish and uh, on the hope for the better ones. But uh, yeah, there we go. Nice scaly one anyway. Right, let's quickly show the other side. Do, it do for a start. Happy days, guys. Right, I'm going to get back. Get my head back down. Good times. Morning, all. Very quiet other than that one early hours this morning. Um, but what a difference a day can make um yesterday the fish were very very localized right over the other side of the lake which i knew they'd be there they're, they're there a lot um and yeah this morning sitting here with uh my mate having a cup of tea good old cheddar and uh yeah we literally see the fish show from end to end bank to bank the mozzies have been biting, you know. Frogs were singing last night. I think nature just thinks it's spring. I think they really do. The temperatures we're getting, you know, it's going to be 14 again today. It was 15 yesterday. It was about 11 last night. Crazy temperatures. Um, but, yeah, it just, just shows that the fish are spreading out and uh, they're, they're starting to act like it's, like it's spring, roaming around the pond again. So uh, rather than all of them being nailed up in one area. So, uh, yeah, be interesting what happens the rest of the session. Um, while we mates fishing, we're going to try and get an extension um, to do an extra night. We've got tonight anyway, but we'll do off tomorrow morning. Um, we're gonna, if no one else is, we're going to ring up and try and get an extension if no one else is coming on for the weekend. But we shall see. Um, got to shoot off again this afternoon, back to the doctors again, get the, the dressing redone. Then district nurses again over the weekend. So, um, yeah, I've got 11.15 on Saturday, 11.15 on Sunday. So Sunday one I'll be packed up and gone by. So I'm, so I'm at the district nurses at 11.15. Then obviously I won't be coming back. I'll be wrapped up early to go if we, do, if we can get the extension. But there's no guarantees yet ring tonight and find out if we can so yeah fingers crossed for a few more well guys can't see it here really but uh, it looks quite bright on this camera but um yeah no it's dropping in dark um haven't been able to update you 
um, to be fair since I got back because everything when I got back went to the doctors got there for 20 to 3 it took a while got back started trying to get the rods out at 4 o'clock and yeah took me uh, more casts than needed to be fair to get the rods on the spots it went wrong like it quite often does um, when you're trying to rush to get the rods out um, but yeah they're out there now happy with them now but yeah probably took about four cars too many um, it's frustrating um, when things start going wrong especially to take a step back have a sit down for a minute and then start again but um, yeah like I say I'm happy with them now they're out there bait over the top ready for the night um, yeah by all accounts there weren't nothing caught in the night last night um, other than my one um, it's done a few today though two out of the bay two opposite from what I've seen um, but yeah I haven't seen any in my water um, lots lots out by the island loads of fish out by the island but uh, yeah not a lot in my water at the moment but um, yeah I'm happy with them fingers crossed in the night we'll get a bite failing that first thing in the morning but yeah mess about again tomorrow going to the uh, district nurse getting that redressed um, yeah so we'll see we'll see what the night brings fingers crossed a nice big fat car well guys result just gone midnight and uh, it's like I've got the smaller brother of um, <clears throat> the 30 I had last week <sighs> Very, very similar fish. That one's 2312. But yeah, another cracker. Yeah, the future's bright here, that's for sure. There's going to be some monsters in here. But yeah, happy days. Bite out of the blue, as it was last night. And another cracker. I'd say not a monster, but they're all welcome. I'll right, quickly show the other side. Yeah. Happy days. Yep. No months to the lot, say twenty three twelve. We take that. All right, I'm going to get him back, guys. Get my head back down. Good times. No, you know. Just when you wish you had the zig kit with you, the fish decide it's now spring and they're all over the surface. But to be fair, they're pretty closer and closer. Look at them all. There is a massive amount of fish there. Yeah, I wouldn't like to say how many, but probably. A dozen plus. I mean, obviously, we know all know that you don't always see, you can't always see them all. But yeah, there'd be guaranteed there'd be another load underneath that shell. There is tons on the top this morning. You know, I did say to Chad, I'm contemplating getting my zig gear yesterday, but because I didn't go home and get any more food, I went to the shop. I actually slipped my mind. What a brat! Yeah, look at them out there. Absolute crazy, but they're getting closer and closer and closer. We managed one, as you know, last night, 2312 mirror. Um, but yeah, they are more or less, they're right in between me and Cheddar. Cheddar's just uh, had one, had his first one of this session. Blasted a single out in the middle for him yesterday evening, and uh, yeah, it's gone off this morning. Not really, that was a nice low 20 linear. As you all know, he don't get them out anymore. You can't lift them, so uh, but he enjoys catching them still. But yeah, there's they're over a huge area actually. Them fish. And there's a lot of them there. But yeah, not ideal when your rods are seven foot underneath them. But when they come over you, they might um. drop with a bit of luck time will tell but look right in between me and cheddar now yeah from left to right they're there
fingers for a, fingers crossed for a cart in the daylight. That'd be nice. Like I say, the cheddar's just done it. I'm the first thing this morning, so nice. No, right, let's have a cup of tea. See what happens. Right guys, happy days. Just had a bite and the fish come over us on the top. See one roll and the right hand rod went into meltdown with this giant on the end. Look at that for a carp. 37 and a quarter. Beautiful thing is you never know here at Redlands what's going to come along next because I don't recognise that one. What a carp. What a fish. Perfect mouth on it. Look at that. And a real long one. Right, I'll show you the other side quick. Cool, yeah, look at him. Unreal. It's already an amazing place, but what a place is going to be in the future with these coming through. Happy days, guys. Happy days. Right, I'm going to get it back. Good times. Well, guys, what a result that was. Having that 37 and a quarter common. Yeah, the fish certainly come over the top of me this morning and see one fish when they're on the top see one fish nut right over the spot and yeah within about 10 minutes right hander was away and uh yeah had that big common on there um i'm gutted to be fair gutted i've got to, got to shoot away today um to go and get my neck redressed but managed to get an extension till tomorrow morning because no one else is coming on till tomorrow morning so yeah we have been able to extend the session by night, but we've got to be away 7 o'clock by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, so, yeah, there could be another one in it. I'm um, going to get back. I'm going to go home and get an another bit of bait, um, some more crumb and whatever, and, uh, yeah, hopefully come back and, um, yeah, have another one with a bit of luck. But it fit, I just want to be sat behind the rods today. The wind's changed. It's coming down here properly this time. The wind's coming properly this way. Um, and like I say, they've been showing right over the spot. I see another real nice fish right over the spot. I haven't put that rod back out because I didn't have a lot of time. Um, still one rod fishing. The other one's been coated sadly on the left. Um, yeah, they've definitely got to know that spot. But uh, yeah, got one rod that I know is definitely fishing at the minute. Um, yeah, got about 20 minutes. That rod's got to come in. I've got to get away. So, uh, but I'll be back, back for another night. So fingers crossed there's more in it. Yeah, and funny enough, that was a change change of rig last night as well. Um wasn't very happy, so what I've been noticing with the slip D and the braid I've been using. Um if you whack it out and you're not happy with it and you gotta reel it back in, for some reason it twists under the pressure of the stick and the rig ends up really twisted up and about two inches shorter. So I have put it on a fluorocarbon D rig and um yeah, that was what I had to fish on. Um, yeah, and on, a, on a white ASM, that one was as well, a white ASM barrel. Um, tipped with a bit of um, food bait brown pop-up. Um, yeah, just to keep it nice and balanced. And um, yeah, that was it. That was the one that done it. So I'm looking forward to getting back here and getting the rods back out for the rest of the session, to be fair. I really am. It looks lovely out there. Temperature's going to be great again today, 14 degrees. The only trouble is in the morning, I know we're going to be wrapping up in the rain, but sometimes you've got to do it. But yeah, it's uh, it's quite in the up. There's five of us on now, so one's gone. So, um, but yeah, it was packed yesterday, six of us on. But yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, we've got Robbie down there in the bay. We did have Mick opposite. We've got Russ over there. And you've got the old mate Ched along there. And another guy on the end. So yeah, looking lovely. 
looking lovely. Got some fresh rigs tied for when I come back. Just the case of putting some more bait on the spot and hopefully getting another one. Right guys, we're just waiting outside the uh, cottage hospital, Tunbridge Cottage Hospital. Um, yeah, uh, excuse me air. They won't let me cut it yet because risk of infection with the hairs going in the, in the hole in the neck. Um, but yeah, look at it. Look at it. it, just shows how many whites and silvers have got coming on. But um, yeah, I would have loved, absolutely loved to have stayed there on the rods today. Um, so many things changed this morning. I mean, they come across us first of all on the top, and I thought, I said, I said to Cheddar, I said, Cool, this has changed it. I said, They're, they're, they're coming right in our water, and uh, yeah, literally, they come right above me. I just see, and, and the fish on the top seem to go by. Then I just see one fish nut out over the spot, and within 10 minutes, right hand rod went into meltdown. Funny enough, I was just about to film the rods as well as it went off, and I caught that on camera, but um, yeah, I knew from the off it was a good one. Um, see another good one out there as well just before I had to leave which was yeah gutting to say the least but um, yeah tied up some more rigs so I've got to go home and get some more bait just so we can do this extra afternoon and night like I say we've got to be away early um, and it's good at Redlands to um, give us the extension um, yeah purely and simply got it because no one's on until tomorrow morning but we've got to make sure we're away by seven so yeah we get this get the neck redressed and uh, grab some bait quickly and the um, bait grinder from at home and uh, yeah we'll get back down there knock some more crumb up get the rods out knock some more crumb up put some more bait out fingers crossed for just one more one more by the time we go in the morning it'll be great but yeah it's been a good trip anyway the uh, change of approach certainly seems to have, wait, have uh, worked so um, yeah happy days can't wait to get back there Well guys, we're back, we've been back some time, been caught up chatting and what have you, um, yeah rods are back out on the same spots, um, topped up with bait, it's looking good, we're not quite happy with the right hand rod to be fair, um, yeah I'm going to change that, but um, other than that, uh, I'll change that about 5 o'clock, redo that, recast that one skip it in get another rig on it and uh yeah put it back out but yeah other than that just a waiting game but we'll be packing up in the dark in the morning so yeah but yeah just been caught up chatting the last sort of couple of hours and whatever a few cups of tea and uh putting the world to right sort of thing but yeah fingers crossed there's one more in it um bit gutted that we can't stay till sort of, you know, 9, 10 in the morning because that bite time, done, that 8 o'clock in the morning has done me a couple of nice ones lately. So, uh, yeah, we shall see. We shall see. The old wind's getting up. But yeah, I've seen, seen a lot of fish, but they're, they're miles beyond me. But I'm happy with that, to be fair. I'm happy with the uh, main group being right over there, fishing off the edge of them. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for another one or two. Well, guys, we are coming in to the last night. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting pack up in the morning, packing up in the dark, be away for seven o'clock. But uh, yeah, is what it is. We wanted to take the extension that we could have. So yeah, just, you know, you have to do what you can do all the time. The uh, main goal is still swimming about out there uncaught. We, uh, yeah, need to be here when we can be here. So, yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed for the night. Everything's all out there, sorted, bait over the top, that's all we can do. Now to sit and wait. Fingers crossed, guys, as usual, if I have anything for the night, you'll be the first to know. Catch up with you in a bit. Well, guys, buzzing, to be fair. Um, yeah. We've uh, both... Just had a bite, me and Cheddar. Uh, my, my rob's howling first and uh, just got it in the net. And um, 
yeah, Cheddar's went into Meltdown and uh, yeah, won as well. So uh, but yeah, we put Cheddar's back. It was a up a double eighteen nineteen we reckon. Um, but I've got a upper twenty uh, linear in the net. Yeah, it's a real nice fish. So we're going to get that one out and um, yeah, see how big she is and have a good look at her. Happy days indeed. Well, guys, nice start to the evening. Me and Cheddar pretty much had a simultaneous bite. Um, just got mine in the net and uh, Cheddar had one. Nice scaly one, Cheddar's was, 18, 19 pound. And I just had this one, an absolute banger, 26 and a quarter. Oh. Yeah, he's a cracker, him. A real cracker. What a fish that is. Brilliant. Happy days, nice start to the evening. It's only early, both had a bite. Yeah, couldn't wish for more this evening. It's already been worth staying on. Get an extension for another night, and even if it is till the early hours. But uh, yeah, great. Let's turn around, show the other side. Equally as beautiful. Oh, look at that! What a carp that is. Happy, happy days. Right, guys, I'm going to get her back. Enjoy a nice celebratory cup of tea with my old mate. Happy days, indeed. Well, guys, I thought I'd quickly show you this one. Um, yeah, because he's an unusual one. He's got some big scales on him. Just short of 21. Nice, chunky one. Look at him. Yeah, he's a nice one. Fish number five. But yeah, I thought I'd show you in quick. It's raining, so uh, yeah, we'll get him back shortly. The other side is equally as nice. Quickly show the other side. Look at them big old scales on his shoulder, that one. Right, I'm going to get him back, guys. Happy days. Well, guys, the things we do for carp, eh? It's early hours of the morning. And uh, we're next to no sleep. And we're packing up. We're going to start, well, going to set the alarm for just after five. Got to be away for seven because the other lad's coming on. It's torrential rain. <laughs> it's torrential rain. We've got four racers going up and down the bypass behind. Keep me awake. Um, yeah, all for the love of carp, eh? No wonder some people think we're mad. <laughs> so, come on the carp. Right, guys. Not long after the old alarm this morning to pack up. This beauty come along. He lets me hold him. Come on. <laughs> there we go, look at that one. 35 12. Ooh. Steady. Sorry guys, I just have to wash him off his covering bait. But right. There he is. Yeah, he's a cracker. Yeah, very He's had probably just over an hour in the sling, sadly, and uh yeah, although well, he put up a good battle, he's um a bit lively.
Unbelievable fish, Robbie, aren't they? Yeah, he's a nice one. Yeah, happy days, guys. Look at that beauty. Yeah. Don't want to be held, that's for sure. Come on, let me get a photo of each side and let me get you back. Come on. Yeah, recognisable that one, look. Happy days, guys. He is very tense. We're going to have to get him back in a minute. Good times. He's going back. He's very unhappy with me. What a fish. Well, guys, we are back at the van. What a wet, windy miserable night lovely and mild though ideal for carp fishing glad we um managed to get a short extension for the night um yeah we're in the van ready to leave um what a cracker at the end there um i don't think i've ever seen i mean i know carp love the asm but i've never seen never seen bait come out of a fish quite like that one it was coming out of it like it was coming out of a bait gun but um yeah 35 12 at the end there as well what a session it's been 420s to 26 and a quarter that was a lovely linear and uh 35 12 and 37 and a quarter we take that for february um yeah what a awesome trip that was um yeah who knows when i'll be back but um yeah if you like the video guys give us a thumbs up um smash the subscribe button click the notification bell that way you will be notified next time one of my vlogs go live and by all means, follow me, Adam Honeysett on Facebook, Adam Carp Honeysett on Instagram. And one thing's for sure, as usual, we'll see you on the bank somewhere soon. Thanks for watching, guys. All the very best.